Hi, my name is Tommy Moran. I'm an executive producer and writer on the show House, and I'm here to talk about my episode, Two Stories. This episode is something that I've been pitching for about three years on the show. I'd always wanted to have um, this long kind of backstory to a problem between House and Cuddy, and the House and Cuddy relationship over the past couple of years has gone kind of through so many different arcs, and I was never able to fit this into any one of those arcs. Um, my original idea had to do with kind of the whole Cuddy Lucas breakup, and we decided to have them break up in a different way, so then this episode wouldn't work, so then it got kind of put on the back burner. Um, and so each time kind of House and Cuddy were um, kind of coming to a crisis point, I would pitch this episode and see if I could fit it in. And then, strangely enough, I got approved for this episode, and then again we kind of twisted the House Cuddy relationship arc and there wasn't going to be kind of a big breakup or anything. So then I came up with the idea that it would be actually a real small conflict, you know, that relationships have. So how a small conflict can actually turn into a big conflict in a relationship. The title two stories, like I said, this story had been through a bunch of different iterations. And actually the um, final outline before I started writing this script still only had one story. And David Shore suggested suggested making more of the girl's black eye and what was the story behind that. So that was a very late change. And so when I made that change, and um, then the title two stories just kind of came to me. And I enjoyed kind of uh, remembering three stories, which is one of everybody's favorite episodes here. I really like the idea on this one that the mystery really was just Wise House in this principal's office. The teaser is being surprised to find House sitting on the bench outside our principal's office. And to me, that's really the mystery that I tried to um, structure the episode around. So there really wasn't much of a medical mystery. And I just thought it would be fun to have House and Hugh Laurie interacting with kids in an elementary school. In structuring the story, one thing that I was worried about was it being a little bit um, boring. <laughs> so I came up with this idea to do these vignettes, uh, and a bit inspired actually by my son, who is just obsessed with old movies. So I came up with the idea of having a character in the classroom who's obsessed with old movies, and House begins to just try to stump him. So he's trying to come up with lies um, that the kid won't realize are from old movies, and the kid keeps catching them. And Greg Utane has spent a lot of time um, and did a fantastic job um, with those scenes. And the Pulp Fiction one was one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite movies, and I was able to kind of steal a little bit of Tarantino and kind of mold it together with the house, and I think it worked out well.